Well, I'm getting much closer to uh, realistic movement out of the platform. I have increased the UDP rate up to 100 packets a second. I'm not sure if that's really helped. Um, the game manager is basically a uh, default, uh, main level at 100. And the other settings also um, at their default level. The tuning center. Uh, what I found was um, to get a realistic pitch um, it had to be at point 0.3 and minus point 0.3 and with the roll um, the min and max values were 0 0.8 but to make it match the actual movement of the aircraft uh, I've dropped it from 0.8 to 0.2, and that seems to be um, seems to follow the aircraft um, flight uh, much better. Um, the heave, um, the maximum value on heave was 10. I've met uh, set that at five, and uh, the minimum was minus three, and I've set that to minus two. So that sort of helped as well with um, a much more realistic movement. Um, in the um, access or in the interface settings, um, I've changed the uh, transmission rate to um, one millisecond. Um, I don't know if that's helped. Might have. Um, so let's take it for a spin. the power here. This is in the Cessna default. You can hear the platform moving. Uh, whoa! Doesn't like going on the grass. Let's take off. Okay, so um, just taking off uh, and I'm going to do a not quite at about 80 knots at the moment. I'm just going to do a uh, gentle uh, left turn. Well, it's not too much gentle now. Okay, and uh, level out a bit. And a right turn. Pretty steep and level out and uh, pitch up. And back down. I think you'd be getting out your sick bag at this stage. Uh, and uh, just back to level flight. So left right, pitch up, pitch down, um, and um, just flying over Melbourne at the moment. Um, so pretty happy with uh, where it's going and um, certainly right in the ballpark and um, uh, almost ready for an actual sit-in flight from this point. So um, yeah, we're getting there.